Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be looking at the next garden event coming very soon to Animal Crossing Pocket Camp and taking a look at what changes the Pocket Camp team have made to the event. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So right now we have just wrapped up three events in Animal Crossing Pocket Camp including the fourth scavenger hunt, the first ever flower festival event and finally the first ever summertime bug catching contest. It's been a busy few weeks. As always the scavenger hunt scattered hundreds of denim gyrodite nuggets all around our campgrounds which we could collect and craft as many of the new denim items as we liked. I'm always a fan of these events as they're pretty chilled out. Of course the flower festival event was a new type of event and introduced all new types of flowers called zinnias. We could plant, harvest and cross pollinate these to earn rarer seeds or simply trade in the fully bloomed flowers with Lloyd for some time limited items. The event was pretty cool however for some reason the Pocket Camp team offered variant coloured prizes across different platforms giving iOS users red and yellow items and Android users green and blue items. As you'll see shortly variant coloured items is something that will seem to become more common in Pocket Camp as new events come along. Finally, in case you missed it, the final event we finished just yesterday was the summertime bug catching contest which was another new type of event and added new time goals for catching bugs and awarding fortune cookies as prizes. Although I loved this event, unfortunately I didn't complete all of the goals and missed out on the top prize of Bunny's Little Red Cookie. I just could not find a second Goliath Beetle. With that said, I loved seeing fortune cookies as prizes and really hope we see more of this. Now just a couple of days ago Molly and Cobb also joined our camps kickstarting part 2 of the Civic Host the Most event. So if you haven't already be sure to invite a new villager to your camps so you can earn some extra Civic Essences. Now with us rapidly approaching a brand new month it must be time for the next garden event. Beginning on Friday the 31st of August Brewster will be stopping by to host his Sweet Harvest Garden event in search of all new tasty looking creatures. Much the same as previous gardening events we know and love Brewster will ask for our help to attract some newly discovered creatures by planting a new type of fruity flower. This time around we will be planting green berry petals, blue berry petals and red berry petals in hopes of bringing all new bumble drop bugs to our gardens. As always the event will of course be broken up into two halves with part one giving us the opportunity to plant green and blue berry petals in order to attract the smaller more common petite and jelly bumble drops while in part two we will be able to plant red berry petals in hopes of attracting the larger and rarer garden and royal bumble drop creatures. As always the garden event is all about harvesting these flowers and just like previous events we will be able to trade in these fully bloomed flowers for potted versions of each flower which is great. Of course the prizes and rewards don't stop there, Brewster will be more than happy to reward us every time we catch a bunch of creatures with some awesome looking grape themed furniture and clothing items. Some of the furniture items include the barrel of grapes, the purple vineyard stool, the vineyard counter, the grape juice, the vineyard phonograph, the ripe vineyard trellis and the purple vineyard table. Some of the clothing items up for grabs include the vineyard beret, the purple vineyard vest and finally Bruce's uniform which is really awesome. Bruce's sweet harvest will last 12 days which is actually slightly longer than all of the previous garden events ending on the 11th of September. This isn't necessarily the best news though as the pocket camp team have made a few changes and adjustments to the event including the spawn and catch rates. Whilst catch rates have been slightly increased making it easier to catch the new creatures, spawn rates have been lowered meaning with every batch of flowers that bloom less bugs will appear. The second and possibly more exciting change to the event is that Brewster has hidden tasks that will only appear once we've completed the event. These tasks will reward us with even more grape themed items that don't actually appear in the catalogue. These items include the red vineyard stool, the green vineyard trellis, the red vineyard table, the green vineyard table and finally the red vineyard vest. Don't worry too much though, similar to the flower festival event I mentioned earlier, these items are only colour variants to the other prizes we will hopefully earn through the usual tasks. Although it seems like we may have our work cut out, this is just another layer to the garden event and with a few extra days and a bunch of active friends, I don't think anyone will have a problem completing the event. Just remember to always leave up to 10 fully bloomed flowers in your gardens, share all of your creatures with friends and check back to your gardens as often as you can. So yeah that pretty much covers all the latest news surrounding Animal Crossing Pocket Camp right now 
As always, if you would like even more updates or simply show some support to this channel, please head over to my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash mayamori. We're slowly building up a community over there and getting ready for my end of summer giveaway, so I would love for you to check it out. If you got this far in the video, please comment sweet, just to let me know you did, that would be super awesome, and be sure to include what you think about hidden tasks during an event. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining, please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching, I hope you have an amazing day, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.